Hi everyone and a very warm welcome to the webinar. So today we're going to explain to you how you can turn your SharePoint and Office 365 into a one-stop shop for your business critical information. This is our content dashboard here, which we put on top of SharePoint in order to present information in a very easy, accessible way to the users. And key element of that dashboard is the logical navigation here, which means logical, it is based on things you know from your day-to-day -day business. In this use case, that's projects, contracts, opportunities, and sales orders. So basically the navigation in SharePoint standard is based on technical things like libraries or subsites, site collections, lists, etc. So it's very difficult for users sometimes to understand that. But this navigation is very intuitive because it's just reflecting the, day, the way they work in their day-to-day -day business. Now part of the navigation is data-driven. If we can integrate with a line of business application, for instance with a CRM, we can create navigation items here automatically if you generate or create an opportunity in the CRM system. And the same happens for sales orders, for instance. So if you have a financial system or ERP system and you create a sales order, we create this navigation item here automatically and we provide all the information that makes sense here in the context. What are quick actions? As I've just mentioned, we provide users with relevant content for a specific business context in order to help them to get their job done quicker. And with our quick actions, we work in the same direction. So functions they need over and over in a specific business context, we provide them prominently here in the quick actions. So this speeds up the way that uh, they can work on tasks. So for instance, here in projects, you want to have a quick access to the to the corresponding Teams channel in order to collaborate. So we have put that prominently here. And for instance, if you look at contracts, usually you will have uh, different kind of workflows here. For instance, if you want to review a new workflow and you can trigger that directly from here. So at the end of the day, this help you, helps you to speed up the whole process. If you look at the metadata, you will see that different kind of metadata is available at different levels of the navigation. And so this metadata can always be used for creating new content if you upload a document, auto classification and so on. If you don't need that at the moment, you can move that to the side and so you can concentrate on the grid. And what the grid is all about, this is what I'm explaining now to you. The grid basically gives you an overview of all content that's related to the current business context. Let's go to the opportunities very quick. And you will see now all relevant information for that opportunity can be seen here. So I have different kind of opportunity documents and you can see the whole transaction from the beginning to the end. What we do here is we connect the dots. So we put together what belongs together and you can see the sales or the documents that come from the ERP system directly in the same context as the source opportunity documents. So you just navigate over here and you will find all the documents from the order confirmation to the sales invoice. That means you are always just one click away from documents that basically come from another system. So we dissolve boundaries between those applications here and make, make a seamless business process possible. If you have documents that you want to upload, you can just use the upload dialog here and you can select a document from your desktop, C drive or a file share. The most convenient way in my opinion is to use drag and drop. So I have a document in the file system already. I upload it just like that. And again, all the metadata which is available here is pushed down to the document. So I don't have to do that manually and the document is stored in the right place. You can see here the metadata which was available, project information, but also custom information. The only thing I want to decide here is what kind of document is that in detail. So it's like a sub document class I can use here to have more information about the document. This is a presentation and that's it. So I had just one click to do and then I have a perfectly classified document here which sits in the system. 
if we now go back to the project document section and we select um, the presentations, you will find the newly created document here with all that wonderful metadata. Also, if you create new content, for instance, um, if you create a new contract here in this scenario, all metadata that's available here can be used to populate placeholders in that document. So for instance, if we look at this here, you create a new contract document based on an existing template using all the metadata which is available in the context to classify the document automatically, but also to populate placeholders in the template. Simple like that and only possible because we have that metadata here. Now the next thing is that you can use SharePoint views to narrow down that list. For instance, if you just want to see the RFP here in this scenario, you can use that view to narrow down that list. You can also sort and filter with those, uh, with the columns. And um, if you click on the document, actually, you will see the preview of the document. So what we do is we use the OneDrive viewer here. Uh, that means you can view 300 and odd formats. Uh, including cl clinical images, technical drawings, and so on. Um, and this is very powerful. Even if I'm working with a bigger list of documents, for that, let's have a quick look at one project here. We go to the project documents, and you can see here are a lot of documents already. I can go to the folder view to navigate through the different kind of documents. And what I can also do is I can narrow down the list again for the deliverables and then I can very quickly see is that the document I'm looking for or the other. So it helps you really to save time if you're looking for content, even if you have, let's say, a larger amount of documents. With our sidebar integration, we provide the easy to understand navigation as well as SharePoint capabilities directly to Outlook Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, and also um, we provide a desktop application with the same user experience. That means you have access to the exact same structure, the navigation here that, that we have seen before in the content dashboard, and to the same documents. Now, you can access documents directly from here, you can share documents, you can send them along, and also you can add new documents. Now, if you have a new document coming in, for instance, um, in this scenario, I can just drag and drop the other whole email or just the attachment to the right place. And again, metadata is pushed down automatically to the document, so I don't have to do anything here. I can just say upload. Now we can see we have uh, just um, uploaded this email here. And if you want to see that in the dashboard, so at the very moment somebody uploads a new document, you can see here we have one correspondence here. And now you can see immediately the new document is available here. So from wherever you are working, from the dashboard or one of our other integrations that we see later or from Outlook or Office, you will also always have the same view on the documents. And once somebody contributes new content, it's made available throughout the system because at the end of the day, it's all stored in one single place, which is SharePoint. Users working in Outlook can even tap into more benefits so if you navigate from the sidebar and uh, use the browse to feature, you will see that the content dashboard that we have seen before is opening directly in Outlook. That means everything that we have seen before, like browsing through documents, preview, the quick actions, the possibility to filter and narrow down lists, but also to create new documents from scratch with template or upload documents. All this is made available. So users can start workflows, they can really collaborate on content and all that without ever leaving their Outlook client. And this is our opportunity in Salesforce, uh, the opportunity that we have been working on before. You can see here the details of the opportunity and down here we have our integration with uh, the content dashboard. If you click on that, you will be taken directly to the content dashboard in the right context. So as you can see here, this structure should look familiar to you. 
This is the 3D CAD converter with all the documents that we have generated and stored for this opportunity. So this sales order is now generated in SAP and we have uh, created an order confirmation and with our sub um, certified archive link interface that we're using for this integration here, we have archived the document into SharePoint, have taken out all the metadata and put it uh, in the right place. So if we double click on here, you will see the structure again that we have seen before. So this is our sales order. This is the current order confirmation. If I'm navigating up the structure, I will see all the documents from different sources here from email and, and Outlook. And also I'm able to navigate back to the source opportunity, which are documents that came from the Salesforce uh, CRM. Because we have won this opportunity and turned it into a sales order, that means we are very happy and we want to deliver the project. So what I did is I created a Teams channel, as you can see here, where I meet with a project team in order to make sure that all information that's required is transferred to the project team. And for that, I have integrated the dashboard here too. So you can see all the relevant, relevant information and all the history of this uh, order is available here. And so we can start to kick off the project now. Now we have reached the end of the webinar. So we have seen today that the uh, usability for SharePoint and Office 365 can be drastically improved by applying a logical navigation that is very easy to understand for users. Also, we can keep users in their favorite application and they can access information from different kinds of sources alongside their business process. So we can create seamless business processes which are not interrupted by boundaries of systems. So we do not create information silos. And these are the key main benefits in order to implement a very good information management structure in SharePoint and Office 365. Now, thank you very much for your interest and time. If you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one demo, just approach us through the web or just reach out to me directly and I will be happy to schedule a demo with you and to talk about your requirements and how your organization can benefit from our solution. Thank you very much.